Yes. Yeah. So, so good evening. How are you doing? Very good evening. I'm totally fine. What about you? Yes, I am doing good. So how was your day been so far? It was great. Okay, nice. So please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Manit Sagar. I'm 11 years old. I live in a family of four. And my hobbies are playing cricket, dancing, singing, listening to music, reading books, writing stories, drawing, sketching, painting, scrolling to YouTube, and many more. Oh, okay. You have a long list of hobbies. Yeah. So, okay, so let's introduce yourself. Yes, sure. So my, as you know, my name is Shanta. I work as a tutor of spoken English. I teach spoken English online as a freelancer. Uh, but basically, I'm an engineer. I'm a computer science graduate. So I live in Karnataka. Have you heard of the South Indian state Karnataka? Yeah. Yes, I belong to Karnataka. And oh. I've started a YouTube channel recently. And my only hobby as of now is I'm working for my YouTube channel. So oh, that's that, pretty much about me. That's great. So can we talk on any topic? Uh, it's up to you, totally up to you, what topic you want to talk about. Um, yeah. So before that, tell me, why do you like to converse with people? It's not like that. I, w I just want to improve my English. Like when we talk to some strange people, it we get more confident. confident. Like we have meet the, met the people who we know. So we are uh, comfortable. At, no confident to them but like we are meeting for the first time so it happens so it will increase my con confidence then mm -hmm. fluency and so, how yeah. old are you i am 11 years old you're 11 okay so you must be in grade 5 or 6 yeah i'm in grade 6 Hmm. So, which what are your favorite subjects in school? SST, science, maths, and English. Okay. So, you do you have any other language? Do you learn any other language as a subject in school? Gujarati. Gujarati. So, are you living in Gujarat right now? Which place? Ahmedabad, Gujarat. I'm from Bihar, but I currently live in Ahmedabad. Okay. So, do you know both the native languages, Bihar and Gujarat? I know Gujarati a bit, but I don't know uh, like Bhojpuri. Okay. So when did you shift to Gujarat? How old were you? Like I was uh, th three years old, three to two years old. Oh, okay, okay. So do you have any memories of Bihar? Do you yeah. go there sometimes? Yes, I go like once in a year sometimes. Uh, in uh, summer vacations and in Chhat Puja also. Mm, so who lives in Bihar? My uh, grandmother and grandfather. Okay. Are they your mother's parents or your father's? Father's. Okay, nice. So which, uh, uh, what do you prefer, Bihar or Gujarat? Both. Both? You're neutral? Yeah. Okay. What's from where are you talking? Karnataka. Okay. So how's the season there? The season is winter. It's cold. It's getting to be cold. It's not, I don't think we are still in the peak of winter, but it has just started. Okay. Mm. I guess it is the same even in Gujarat right now. Yeah. It's not yes? so cold. Mm. It's not that cold, but yes, it has started. So what is your uh, routine like? Do, do you have schools on Saturdays also? Yeah. It's a half day. Yeah, it's a half day till hmm. 12. Till 12. Okay. So do you go to tuitions? Yeah. Every day? No. So I don't go. I study at home. You don't go to tuitions at all? No. Okay, very nice. So are you an intelligent student in school? Quite. 
<laughs> quite good answer okay so yeah you have a long list of hobbies which one is your favorite and why playing cricket mm -hmm. can you I, elaborate why do you like playing cricket i like playing cricket that because i want to be a cricketer Ooh. but yeah it changes from time to time like sometimes i want to be astronaut actor Yeah. Which is the fixed one? But yeah. Exactly. Yes. Cricketer in present time. Mm hmm. So are you very good at cricket? Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. I want to be a dentist. I wanted to be a surgeon, but I ended up being an engineer. You never know. <laughs> Yes, and I I didn't even be a complete engineer. Now I'm I've uh, become a tutor of spoken English, so I'm I'm I've become a teacher now. You never know where life takes you. Yeah. Hmm. So can you describe your family? Okay, so I am the I'm the smallest one in my family. Oh. I have a elder sibling. She's uh my sister. She studies in tenth grade. Okay. My mother is a homemaker, and my father is a textile engineer. Okay, very nice. Yeah, and who manages your social media? Who sends emails and messages on your behalf? My mother. Hmm. Right. So, who encourages you more to for this activity of conversations? Me, myself, and my mother also. Hmm. All right. So, are you enjoying this journey? Yes. Talking to people. Yeah, of course. Hmm. So, you run your YouTube channel as well. How old is yeah. it? I run a YouTube channel, English with Marvelous Manit. Mm -hmm. I started it in November twenty twenty three. November twenty twenty three. Just very recently, that is right. Yes. Yeah. Just last That's month. Good. So, how is the experience? And what is what what is your goals for YouTube? What do you want to achieve? Where do you want to reach when it comes to YouTube? I I am not like I want to reach any goal on YouTube. Just the thing is, I want to learn English. Hmm. So you can be more accessible to people if you have a YouTube channel. Yes. How many people have you spoken to so far? Twenty. Twenty already. Yeah. Very nice. Hmm. Good. Twenty-eight. Twenty-first. Good conversation. Right. You are very confident, don't you? Like, ever feel nervous? Yeah, I feel nervous sometimes. I think that was during your first video call. You were nervous. Yeah. Mm hmm. Right. So, how many hours, hours on an average, do you spend on in front of the screen in a day? Okay. So, my screen time for a day is two or three, uh, two or two and a half hours. Mhm. Mm and uh, if I get any some projects, it takes uh, I take it up to three thirty or four. Oh, three and a half to four hours. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So, so the maximum time goes for YouTube. Like I always have conversations after four, mm -hmm. so or oh, until seven or six. So, yeah, it uh, in the meantime I like have the conversation, and when I get time, I study. Okay, okay. So, are you like you know able to give proper time for your studies as also? Yeah. Mm, no complaints. No. Okay. And my exams are also round to the corner. Okay. So, how prepared are you? I'm well prepared. First exams is math. Okay. The and easiest. you like math, right? Yeah. What do you want to? Okay, you told me you want to be a cricketer. Okay, so it it doesn't need a uh, lot of knowledge about any of the languages that you're studying now, any of the subjects, right? Yeah. You just have to be physically fit. Hmm. Right. Uh, it's very great. Good to play cricket. 
it helps us in various things like physically high and hand and eye coordination yes yes definitely it does yes so do you have any cricket club or any uh, thing of such sort no are you not a part of anything of such no Okay. I'm playing with my friends. Okay. Yes. Yeah, but be, you because you want to take this as a career, so I think you should join some club or something, right? Yeah. I'll, if it would be fixed, so I'll definitely join it. Uh-huh. Yes. Yes. And uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is on twenty fourth June. Twenty fourth June. So, what is the best gift that you have received so far for your birthday? Uh, Yes, so far. Uh, I have got a cycle. Okay, okay. When did you learn riding the cycle? I was like four. Oh, you were four. Four wheelers. Four, four wheelers. Then in uh, when I was six, then I started two wheelers. Okay. Who taught you to ride the cycle? My sister. Okay, okay. Lucky you. You have an elder sister, right? Yeah. So, do you guys have differences sometimes? Do you quarrel? Sometimes. Mm. It's a part of it. It's part of being family, right? Yeah. Mm. And who is your favorite person in your family? My mother. <laughs> Maximum. Uh, most of us tell that, right? Mothers are always our favorite. Right. Yes. You have any questions for me? Had you prepared any anything to ask me? Yeah, I have questions. That who inspired you to start a YouTube channel? Um, I wouldn't say any particular person inspired me because I was watching these conversations, and as I told you, I'm all already a tutor of spoken English, so it is my work to interact with people. So when I was watching other people having conversations, I thought this is like easy, and this is something I could do. Whenever I had my free time, I could do this, right? This is the best thing I could do as a full-time homemaker because I have children like you, whom I need to care for. So yeah, that is why I thought like, only during my free time I'll do, I'll do this YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So you from when did you start a YouTube channel? Uh, I started my YouTube channel in September this year. But I re started posting regular content from the end of October. Okay, that's great. So you teach English to small kids or the elder ones also? No, currently I'm teaching only to elders. Okay. I don't teach children. So like above twelve, eighteen plus. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, do you travel often? Yeah, sometimes. So, which is your favorite holiday destination? Goa. Oh, how many times have you been there? Uh, two. Okay. You you like Goa just because there are beaches there, right? Yeah, I love beaches. Yeah, same here. I love beaches as well. So, we, uh, which beaches did you visit? Do you remember the names? No. No. Okay. No issues. Just want to enjoy. Definitely, beach is a beach. Doesn't matter, right? Yeah. So, do you like crowded beaches, or do you like the tranquil Both. and peaceful ones? Both. Okay. Okay. So, are you an introvert or an extrovert? Extrovert. Okay, it shows, right? You're having a channel, you're talking to people. So yeah, I can guess that you're an extrovert. Yes, yes, go ahead. You are, you have any more questions? You were about to ask me something. Yeah, I was asking that. Uh, why did you started having conversations? Um, like, you said that you saw conversation videos, but there would be a reason uh, you started it to improve English or something. I like interacting with people. And I realize there are a lot of people who need to learn English uh, because I'm working for a platform and I'm getting paid there. So I thought I will start a YouTube channel and have some free session with sessions with learners. So this would be the best platform to do that. Okay. 
So, uh, I want to ask that you are from Kerala. So I'm from Karnataka. Karnataka, sorry. So, can you tell me some places to visit there? Okay, so you can visit the capital city of Karnataka. Do you have any idea? Uh, Bengaluru? Bengaluru, yeah, I also, I was also thinking that. Yes, you can definitely make a visit to Bengaluru. Then you can go to Mysore. There is a palace. It's a very nice one. So you can visit that. And uh, you can visit Hampi if you're interested in history and architecture. Hampi, there, yeah. you have a lot of foreigners visiting. So it is a World Heritage, Heritage Site. So you can visit Hampi. Um, and there are a lot of hill stations as well. Kodai Canal, Fudre Mopia, Uti and those places like close to Tamil Nadu. So you can visit that. Okay. Yeah, it depends what kind of uh, if you like the beaches, you can visit Mangalore. Churches and beaches. It's similar to it gives you a Goa vibes if you come to Mangalore. OK, that's great. Mm, right, yeah. So did you ever visit South India? No, not yet. Not yet. I want to ask that if you had a chance to travel to any other country, like for visiting purpose, so which country would you like to visit? Visiting purpose. I like to visit M Maldives. Maldives. Yes. Where do you want to visit, visit it? Some island, doesn't matter. Some island. I would love to go and stay there. But there is so much in India that I have not explored so far. So first I'll finish w visiting India, then maybe I'll go to Maldives. OK. That's great. So. Excuse me, hello. Yeah, how did you learn English? I learned English it is quite good. Excuse me. Your English is quite good. How okay. did you learn? I learned English uh, from childhood only. It mm -hmm. was uh, uh, like it was the uh, mode of conversation in my school also. So right. English was a primary language to learn. So I, I read my books and I'm a fluent speaker and yes. I uh, read, read nicely. I like I was reading the book in the morning, morning and evening just. And uh, uh, so I was uh, practice, I practiced English from childhood. Uh, so uh, now I have come to the stage where I speak a bit of flu fluent English. So do you take part in competitions at your school? Elocution, yes. debate, you do? Yeah, just a uh, few days ago, uh, days back, there was a speech competition, public speaking, on the topic whether mobile sh phones should be allowed or not in the schools. Mm, so were you for it or uh, against it? Against it. <laughs> All right. Good decision. Thank you. Do you like reading books? I would love to read books, yes. When I was a child and when I had enough time for myself, then I would love to read books. I love to read fictional and novels, those kind of books I like reading. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. I fantasy books. You too? Yeah. Okay, nice. So, I really enjoyed the session with you. Same here. I was glad I connected to you. Yeah. So, okay, then. when it would be possible, we'll definitely connect one more time sometime. Sure. Again. Sure, sure. Lovely talking to you. You enjoy your Sunday. Bye bye. Bye. Have a marvelous day ahead. You too. Bye bye.